it's Lyric. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a collab with six other YouTubers. I will have all of their channels linked in the description. We are all making videos around the topics of health, wellness, fitness, so make sure you check them all out. I will link the videos in the description and if the videos haven't been uploaded yet, then I will just link the channels down below. But all of these YouTubers make great quality videos. They have great content, so make sure you go check them all out and tell them I sent you if you are new to any of their channels. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so my first tip is to have a simple and chill morning routine. Now don't get me wrong, you may be like Lyric, I do not want to have a morning routine when it's summer. I sleep in, I literally wake up at night, that's okay, but you can still have a morning slash night slash when you wake up routine. It will help you get a quicker start to the day because you'll know what to do. You'll be in the habit of doing the same things every time you wake up and it just helps you get a good start on the day. So whenever you wake up, you will feel more productive if you just have a simple routine. It doesn't have to be hard. It can literally be like wake up, make my bed, eat breakfast, brush my teeth. Just as long as you have a simple plan and you kind of do it every time you wake up, then you'll be good to go and it'll just help your day get started on a good note. Tip number two is to try to get into law of attraction and set some positive affirmations for your summer. If you have not heard of the law of attraction, it is a super neat thing that you should research and learn more about because it is so helpful and it truly does work. But I would recommend using the summer to learn more about it and try to implement it into your life during summer because it's probably a little bit easier to practice law of attraction because you have more time and you could focus on it a little bit more but that's something I would highly recommend like trying out and trying to get into because it can truly help make your summer way better you can manifest some great things and dreams that you've had for such a long time so I would definitely recommend trying to get into that during the summer. Make a bomb summer bucket list. This is kind of a classic thing, but it honestly helps you see how you would ideally want your summer to go. Just kind of winging it and doing whatever activities can work as well, but it's even more fun when you have a cute little layout of it, you have everything written down, and you can just check it off when you've done it. And at the end of summer, you can see how much you've done, because sometimes at the end of summer, we feel like we've done not too much and like it went by really fast so it's nice to be able to look back and be like wait I really did have an awesome summer oh look at me go I've made summer bucket lists for years now and I always enjoy it it's so much fun so I would highly recommend that making the summer bucket list can also give you ideas of things to do when you're bored because everything on a bucket list doesn't have to be an extravagant activity it could just be small little simple things that you want to do during summer Set goals for summer. This is something that I feel like a lot of people don't usually think about. Usually during school you have goals like what grades you want to get, staying on top of your projects and everything, but in summer it's a great time to set goals. Try to reach some goals that you've always wanted to achieve. Summer is the time to do that. You have the most time on your hands and you can really just go for those goals and plan them out use the law of attraction to manifest those goals and what you want to happen and then put in the work and that will definitely give you something to do and it's very healthy and good for you to set goals and achieve them get outside as much as you can so you know being in school you're usually stuck inside for the majority of the day but during summer is when you just need to embrace going out you don't have to go out every day because having self-care and chill days is totally fine and it's good for you but it's really good to get outside get that vitamin D or E or C it's one of those just feel the Sun or feel the rain you don't even have to like go outside and just play outside you can like go to stores or just go to cafes because once school starts you're gonna be like wow I really wish I went out a little bit more during summer make sure you go do that and with going outside a lot this is something that some people just kind of let it just fly by and just right over their heads they just completely disregard it but put on sunscreen guys nobody wants skin cancer that's just not the way to go and sunscreen will protect you from burning some people burn easier but just imagine how bad it would be if you didn't put sunscreen on like in the long run having sunscreen is the way to go you could still tan with sunscreen on think about your health like is it more important to have a tan for a few months than to possibly 
get a bad disease from not putting on sunscreen I think it's pretty self-explanatory but some people don't do it so make sure you're putting on your sunscreen don't forget that next tip is to stay hydrated this is also another pretty simple one that I feel like a lot of people should understand but some people just don't remember to do it including myself but you need to be drinking your water and getting those good fluids in you to stay hydrated being out in the Sun really does drain a lot of energy from your body and you just need that water to stay healthy because we need water to live so it is quite crucial to our health and our bodies being in good condition. Create or find the perfect summer playlist. Music hits different in the summer guys. I don't know about you but for me it really does like the vibes from your music just have a whole different meaning when it's summertime and music just sets the tone for summer so you could go on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your music from and just look up summer playlists if you want to find one that you really like or you could just make your own, find all those songs that just Mm, they just you know you know those songs just find those songs put them all in one playlist title it summer 2020 vibes it will literally lift your mood so much like imagine just driving outside with your windows open jamming to your playlist it's got to be one of the best feelings so definitely find or create your perfect summer playlist during the summertime redecorate your room this can actually be really good for you mentally like sometimes you just get really tired of your room and it kind of doesn't excite you so maybe you could try to move some furniture around or buy a few new things to put up on your walls create a picture collage there are a bunch of different cheap ways to spice up your room and just make it a little more exciting and more of a fun environment to be in our rooms are a place that we tend to be in quite often so we want it to feel good and be a good environment so definitely try to do something special to make your room enjoyable this next tip is so good I feel like we could all agree on this and it's to hang out with your friends you never know how much time you have with your friends so during summer try to take those opportunities that you can to just make more memories with them hang out with them you don't even have to be going anywhere just being with your friend making memories driving around there's so many fun things to do with your friends so just try to do that during the summer don't take those moments for granted because like I said you don't know how long people have on this earth so it's good to spend time with them and enjoy it my last tip is really important and it's to limit your screen time on your phone or be on your phone less. Our generation uses our phones so much and I'm sure all of us could look at our screen time right now and be a bit disappointed. If you have iOS you can go into settings and limit your screen time on certain apps or on your whole phone in general and it's so healthy for you during summer when we have more free time sometimes we just want to lay in our rooms and be on our devices and phones all day which is okay for some days but not a lot it's just not good mentally to be on your device for so long limit your time on your device and use the summer to just live life go out do something fun it just lay outside literally do something just don't be on your phone you can listen to music that's totally fine just don't waste life on your phone locked away from the world all right everyone so those are all of the tips that i have for you to help you have the greatest summer ever given our recent circumstances we're definitely going to want to use this summer use these next few months to reset kind of get out of the house and truly enjoy our lives and try to catch up on the things that we missed out on so I really hope some of the things I have told you will help you stay healthy and help you really enjoy this time don't forget to check out all of the channels in the description check out their videos I love all of these girls so much they have great quality great content awesome videos so please go check them out watch their health and wellness related videos so that you can thrive even more this summer and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye